welcome back. Hello. 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 How are y'all doing? Very good. Wonderful. That's great to hear. We're we're working on. Hi guys. We're gonna graph some inequalities. Which are these things? We are, we've already worked on, hi, hi, hi. We've already worked on graphing lines. Graphing inequalities are the exact same idea, except we've got to do either a solid line or a dashed line, and then we gotta color some part of the graph. And that's it. Other than that, it's exactly the same as graphing a linear equation, okay? So let's start with number one. I'm going to try to make side jot notes of what I'm doing and what means what, okay? So I'd like you to add those to your thing. The first thing that I'd like to look at is the sign. I don't have... All right, this one. I want you to look at this symbol. Oh, that's the homework. Yeah, I was like... I'm sorry, that's the homework. There we go. That makes way more sense. Sorry, thank you so much for catching that for me. I am a derp this morning. All right, so first thing you're going to look at is you're going to look at this sign. So this is your first thing. Look at the sign. The sign will tell you whether... The sign will tell you whether the line is solid or dashed. Does anyone remember which was which? Was little lines. Very good. And what about this symbol tells you which one is which? Do you guys remember? How do you know it's solid? Okay. So if it's one of the includes, this or this, it's going to be a solid line. Okay. Because it has blessing. Because it includes the or equal to. All right. All right. Now I'm going to graph this just like. Hi. There's a lot of side conversation. We're going to graph this just like we would any other normal linear equation of its type. Okay. So graph the line. I'm going to graph it in pencil first, and then I'm going to darken it up with colors. So if you guys are using um, pencil, you want to like make it darker when I get to the, the shading and stuff. All right, so I've got this line, and if I'm going to imagine it as just the standard equation, okay, so it's not really that. I'm just kind of picturing that it's this. Everything okay? Yeah. Do you need pencil or pen or highlighters? Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to use the intercepts to graph this because it's in standard form. So I'm going to set e x equal to zero. I'm going to set y equal to zero. I'm going to see what the other variable is, and then I'm going to plot my points. So when x is zero, that means this part is going away, and I'm left with just this piece. Was that too much magic? And then now you're going to divide by negative 3. So exactly. Now I'm going to divide by negative 3. Yes. So you get the y by itself. But is everyone okay with how I went from this line to this line? Mm -hmm. No. So I put x is 0. So now I'm going to have negative 5 times 0, zero. Okay. which is 0. And I don't need to write the 0 okay. minus 2. <coughs> okay, great. Going to finish that division. And y is negative 2. So my first point that I'm going bless to graph, you. bless you, for my line, I'm just going to jot it way up here at the very top so that I have it, is going to be 0 comma negative 2. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with y equals 0. And I have that. We're okay with how I got to there? <coughs> same idea of what I did with the x, but this time I got rid of the y. All right, going to divide both sides by negative 5. And x is that fun fraction. Okay, now that I have two points, I'm going to come to my graph and I'm going to graph those. 
is 0, negative 2. I have a point right here. And negative 6 over 5. Okay, that's like 1 and then a little bit more. So I'm going to go 1 and a little bit more. And I'm not going to worry that this isn't perfectly exact. Okay? So that's about... Oh, but it's negative. It's over here. Ignore that one. Negative. Okay, now I'm going to take my handy-dandy straight edge. I'm going to graph this thing in pencil first. So we go down two and then... How I got to this one? To the other one, to the other... To this one? Yeah. So this one, the point is negative six-fifths, zero. So I have no vertical up or down movement on that. All right, my handy dandy straight edge line maker tool. Okay. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to re-sketch it here real quick because I want this to cover the entire graph. Okay. Now that I've got it there, I've decided it's going to be a solid line. So, solid line. And now I have to decide am I coloring above the line or below the line? <laughs> you remember this? In the bottom, right? Because it's negative. Because it's, it's, uh, it's negative and then there's a less than sign and how do... Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a point somewhere in this region and I'm going to test it. And if it makes a true statement, I get a number that is less than six, then I know that that's where I need to shape. And if I get a false statement, I get a number that's bigger than six, or not less than six, rather, then I know that I'm not supposed to shape there. Okay? So I'm going to look in this region because I see I have zero, zero. Do you see a zero, zero sitting up there? And zero, zero is really easy for me to test because this at zero becomes zero, this at zero becomes zero, and is zero less than or equal to six? It's less. Yes, it's less. So I'm supposed to color up here. Let's do it on another one so that you can see how that will work out. Let me find another one that is... I'm just going to get you one. Uh-huh. Let's look at this one because this is another one that's similar. All right, look at our symbol, dashed or solid. Dashed? Yes. This is going to be a dashed line. Okay, I'm going to graph it with its intercepts. So I'm going to look at what happens when I make x0. When I make x0, whoops, I'm going to make it equals. I get y is 1. So I'm going to graph the point 0, 1. Then I'm going to look at when y is 0. And when y is 0, x is 1 half. Okay, I know that was really small, so let me zoom it in. Questions? Read through that algebra. Make sure that, that you get where I'm generating these numbers from. We're on the, the notes from yesterday, the back note. From yesterday. Yesterday's notes. Mm -hmm. But we're on the back of it. All right, let's go graph these points. So 0, 1 is here. 1 half, 0 is here. I'm going to use my pencil. Oh, 
but I got told this is supposed to be a dashed line. So when I take my marker, I'm not going to trace the whole line. I'm going to put like breaks in it. So it's going to look something like this. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Miss, so for X minus, you win. I went X is zero and I figured out what Y was. Okay, so you went up one. Mm hmm And then And then when Y is zero I figured out what X was. So it's not supposed to it's not supposed to be like um like where's one at but just to the side. No, because they're two different points. This point is when X is zero. And then this point is when Y is zero. They're two different points. I don't understand it, but uh, it's cool. Okay, I'll explain it again in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to figure out which side of the line to shade. And again, I'm going to use my, I'm going to grab a point in one of the areas, and I'm going to see which one it is. You're saying you want to do zero, zero? Yeah. I like zero, zero also. Zero, zero is found right here which is on this bottom left portion of the line. So I'm going to test 0, 0. So I'm going to test 0, 0. OK, so this is going to be 0, that 0. Is 0 less than 2? Yes, zero is less than two, and so I'm supposed to color down here because I got a, a yes statement. Mm. Easy enough? The most challenging part is graphing the line, and then maybe sometimes the testing gets weird because the numbers are crazy. All right, let's do another one. I've got two with fractions. Which one of these do you want to see done? <coughs> you were out yesterday, so I need to hit the box to pull the notes from each other. Please go follow along. Thanks. Which one of these two do you want? Negative one. The negative, this one. All right. This inequality looks like it's in y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept. So I'm going to graph this line as if it were a slope intercept line. And then I'm going to rate the rest of my choices. Okay? So my intercept is 4. So intercept is 4. Slope is negative one fifth. So I'm going to go to the point zero four, one two three four, and then from that point I'm going to move down one to the left five on the back of the page. Yeah, down to the right. Yeah, up. Down, yeah, down to the, down into the left makes it positive, down into the right makes it negative. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So down one and to the right five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my other points. I'm going to take my line maker and I'm going to use my pencil. And there's my line. Dashed or solid? Dashed. Because I don't have an or equal to. It's just strictly greater than or less than. So this is a dashed line. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to make it dashed. And now I have to decide, <coughs> excuse me, Am I going to shade above the line or below the line? Could we base it off the slope because it's negative? No, we can't. Um, there's probably a shortcut to the method. I was like, oh, just look at this. So
symbol and then it tells you whether it's above or below. But it doesn't always work because you have to take exceptions into consideration. And I hate teaching you a rule that then I have to immediately go, oh, but there's an exception because then it just gets confusing. So I'd rather teach you a method that while might be a little longer at the start, will always work forever and you don't ever have to worry about an exception to the rule, which is let's test some points. You have freedom of choice. You can test any point that you want. I like picking zero, zero if I can, just because with multiplication, it makes things really easy. So again, I'm gonna pick on my point zero, zero. Okay, and I'm gonna put it into here. So I have this inequality. And everywhere I see an X and a Y, I'm gonna stick a zero. All right, so the statement I ended up with is zero is bigger than four. Is that a true statement? No. No, this is false. Which means I'm not going to color here, which means the only place left to color is up here. Thank you so much. That makes sense? All right, let's do another. This one, same idea. This looks like it's in slope intercept form. So I'm gonna pretend for a moment that it is. Here's my y intercept. So I'm gonna start at zero, negative three. Zero, negative three, one, two, three. Then my slope is 3 over 4, so I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to use my straight line maker to connect the dots of the straight line, and I'm going to use my pencil. If you're using your pencil for the whole thing, just maybe draw this part lighter. All right, look at the inequality symbol, dashed or solid. Solid. And now I need to decide, am I shading, shading above or below? Once again, I'm going to pick on zero, zero because it's a nice, convenient, easy number. Pick the numbers that are the easiest for you to deal with. If it's not zero, zero, if it's like... 100, 100, go with that one. Okay, just grab whichever ones work the best for you in the moment. All right, I ended up with zero is greater than or equal to negative three. Yes. Yes, this is a true statement. And so I am totally going to shade in this area where zero, zero is found. Because I got a yes. It was true. Easy? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's do this one. Y is bigger than five. What kind of line does this look like? Straight line. Is it a straight horizontal or straight up and down? Straight horizontal because I'm going to go up to Y is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I want everywhere for Y to be this value. All right. Now, is it dashed or solid? Solid. Solid. So I'm going to make that a solid line. <clears throat> and now, this one's fairly easy for us to think about. It says that y is greater than 5. Mm -hmm. So is it going to be above here or, above, or down here? It's going to be above because that's where all the numbers that are bigger than y live. Oh. Right? Because if I grab this one, 0, 0 is less than 5, so it's not down here. So it's up here. This one you got to do in your brains. Right. 
All right. No work need to be shown on that one. What about this one? X is less than 3. Where do I put the line? On the 3. On the up 3 down. up and down. Very nice. Dashed or solid? Dashed. Dashed. It says that it's less than 3. Again, this is an easy one to think about because everything on the right is getting bigger and everything on the left is getting smaller. So which, so I'm gonna color this on the left. Very nice. Let's try to write an equation now. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. I'm going to write it in y equals mx plus yeah. b form, slope intercept. So I'm going to put the equation up here. My final answer is going to be up there, and all of my work is down here. So I want to write this thing first, the line. All right, here's my intercept right here. One, two, three, four, five. So my intercept is going to be five. And now I need my slope. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to try to get back to the line which looks like it's here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, okay, so it was a 1. 4 over 4. So my line is going to look like y and then in here, I don't know what inequality I'm using yet. So y, I'm leaving a blank, x plus one, or plus five. And you were saying that it was what? The line is dashed. The line is dashed, so it's either less than or greater than. Yes, yes, that's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, I'm reading your mind at this point. Or you're reading mine, it's one or the other. I think it's safer. We're reading each other's mind. We have done the mind meld. Oh. So we're trying to figure out now which way it goes. Now we know that over here is true. We know that 0, 0 is a true statement. So that means 0 has some relationship to 5. And it's a true, so what is this relationship between 5, 0 and 5? 0 is the less than 5. So since this is what happens when I take and do that substitution at 0, 0, that's the symbol for it. So we took that idea of let's test the point to see which way we shade, and we basically ran it backwards to figure out which symbol we're going to use. OK? All right. Let's try it again. First step. Oh, I needed to write my equation over here. First step is we are going to find the intercept. My intercept is right here. So my intercept is at negative 1. And then my slope is, this looks like the next good place. So I went, it's hard for me to read these lines here. I went one, two down, and one, two, three, four, five over. Okay, there's my slope and there's my intercept. So I have an equation that looks like y, 2 fifths x minus 1. And so we just have to figure out what is the relationship right in here. Again, I'm going to pick on 0, 0 because it's nice and convenient. 0, 0 is not true. Okay, So we've got to make sure that we write this sentence where it's not true. So I'm going to plug in 0 everywhere we've got an x and a y. So 
Okay, we know it's solid, so we can automatically add the or equal to portion. Good eyes. Okay. All right, here's, here's what we're looking at. We've got some relationship here. All right, in order to make this true, I need to write that zero was bigger than negative one. Right? That's the true statement. But zero, zero is in the false location. So I need to make the symbol so that it's false. Does that make sense? We're supposed to get the wrong answer because if we look here, zero, zero, the point we picked is not in the spot that's colored. It's in the these are the wrong answers section. So this sentence here should give me a wrong answer. Zero is less than negative one is wrong. So this is the correct symbol for this graph because zero, zero is in the place of these are the wrong answers. And the right answer would be like zero is less than or equal to negative one. The <coughs> it would be asking for the right answer, then it would be zero is less than or equal to negative one. If it was shaded up here, then yes. Okay. All right. There it is. There's my equation. So I'm going to write it pretty up here. Thank you all very much.